Hello and welcome to another After Effects lesson. This is going to be a nice short one and it's going to be on rendering using the render queue and some of the options that are available. So first off you need something to render out. So I have a composition that I've already built. Let's take a look at that. This may look familiar. That's right, it's the intro to my last one and look right here I have relabeled it for this lesson. And I need to render it out so I can um, put it at the front of this one when I post it onto the internet so uh, you you know know what lesson it is and you don't get confused but so let's render this let's render this out so I've got the composition all ready and there's a couple of ways we can do this remember the rule in After Effects there's at least two ways to do anything so first off we need to open the render queue so let's do that now you go up to window render queue and it opens up the render queue I already have something in here let's delete that clean it up a little bit and then we can just drag this composition down into the render queue that's one way of doing it or when we're back on this composition that we want to render go up to composition add to render queue and it does the same thing okay let's take a look at this render queue there's some options here um, render settings, output module, output type, log. The two things we're going to look at are the output module and the output two. The render settings should be set on best settings because um, you want the best settings when you're rendering it out. You want it to render it in full quality. So usually leave that the way it is unless there's certain circumstances in which you need to render something out very, very quickly and you don't have time to render it out in full quality. But most likely, you'll want it at best settings. Let's take a look at this output module. Right now, it's set on lossless. You can see there's a little triangle here. Let's click on that. And there's a bunch of preset um, settings here for different types of render settings. Now, in my After Effects class, I prefer that when you render out your final projects that you send them to me in H.264. It's a very good compression. Um, and it's very small file sizes and it works just great for uh, turning in your assignments. So in, in order to do that you just click on H264. That's pretty awesome. And then let's click on this output module. You can, there's some preset things here but what I like to do is just click where it says intro and it brings up what you want to save it as and where you want to save it. Okay, but I'm not going to save this one as an H.264 because I'm going to then bring it into Final Cut and do some editing. So what I want to do is click right here where it says lossless. Let's click on that and it brings up some settings. Okay, I'm using Final Cut so quick time is just perfect. Um, post render action. I can import it back into After Effects, input import and replace footage just in case I have lots and lots and lots of um, layers and it's running slow and I want to um, bake out some of the footage and render it out so I can bring it back in as you know as a movie clip and then it'll, everything will render faster if I know one particular part of my composition is is good to go and I don't need to make any changes I can do that so but I am just rendering this out normal so here we are video output I am not needing a transparency so RGB is just fine keep it on millions of colors let's do a pre multiply mat most of these settings are just great the way they are I can resize it here if I want to I'm not going to I'm gonna leave it at 1280 by 720 or I can even crop in now if I would have audio with this I'd want to make sure I check on the audio 48k 16-bit stereo and there's some options here of what audio codec to use but I do not have audio with this so I'll turn that off now back to the video output there's a button here called format options I'm gonna click on that and on lossless its default setting is animation which is a very very big codec and it'll save out to a very very big file size which I don't need right now 
So what I want to do is I want to change it to ProRes. I'll just do 422. And there's some settings in here. Everything should be just fine, though. Um, quality 100%. That's right. That's right. Okay. So now when I hit render right here, it's going to render this video out into a ProRes file onto my desktop called intro. Let's change this to intro lesson two. Save. And then you click render. And this is going to take a minute and then it'll be rendered out okay this is about done and we are rendered so that's all fine and dandy and I've got my newly rendered out ProRes file that I'm gonna add to the beginning of this when I turn it into a video but say I want to render this out to stream to the web as an H.264 and I want to be able to control my bitrate and things like that. How do I go about doing that? Okay, so I'm going to click on this triangle and click on H.264 and now click on H.264 H and this brings up all of these settings and it's set as an H.264 um, audio is already there and let's click on the format options and here are some options to be able to control the bitrate settings and things like that. So first off, let's go to audio. Make sure it's on AAC. And I, I'd be able to change the audio quality if I had audio to this. So I can bring it to medium to bring it down the, the file size a little bit. 128 kilobits. And this is going to save you just a tiny bit of space. Let's go over here to the bitrate settings. Um, this has a variable bitrate, one pass, and I want to have set my target bitrate to 0 0.8 megabits or 800 kilobits with a maximum of 0.9 megabits or 900 kilobits. Now what that's going to do is it's going to, when it compresses it, and renders it out it'll be a smaller file size in addition I want to resize this because 720p is a little bit too big for where I'm going to be streaming it on the website or whatever so let's resize this to 854 by 480 which is widescreen DVD size that's all we have to do click OK and then when I render this out it will be now a compressed H.264 video file that's going to be a smaller file size better for streaming so thank you for watching this quick brief lesson on rendering and if you have any questions feel free to contact me send me an email or anything like that and I will try to help you out thank you